Howdy ho gamers, it's your boy Wyatt. Have you ever dreamt of abilities beyond the natural? Perhaps you've imagined yourself soaring above the clouds. Perhaps you've caught yourself daydreaming of the idea of seeing other people through walls. Or perhaps you've deeply pondered the greatest superpower of them all, the ability to mog down helpless bystanders until they simply cease to exist in front of you. Well, I've got great news for you. Today, we're going to be playing SCP Secret Laboratory's Heavy Duty Update, which makes all of your wildest dreams and nightmares come Come true. I have a question for you. Why do some people say, let's address the elephant in the room? It implies having an elephant in my living room isn't normal. It is, and I'm tired of pretending it's not. A better saying would be, let's address the dump truck in the airport. His, I'm sorry, is his ass not fat? Oh, wait, let me look. Damn, dude, slaps it. That is, that shit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Whoa! I'm sorry! <laughs> I didn't mean to sexually assault him, I'm sorry! Because good googly moogly, SCP-939's bakery is levitating through the air, and I'm following it like I've caught the scent of a cartoon pie. Yeah, we did, we tried to tell you about it, and then you vanished, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm scared. Oh, 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 someone give me a flashlight real quick. Anyway, addressing the yacht and the skibbity, let me show you my sick new crib. We've got fences, wire spools, and don't tell anyone, but I even picked up a couple boxes. More boxes than should be allowed, quite honestly, and contained inside of them, dangerous war criminals, but we'll get back to them later. However, before we get into the thick layers of this update burger, for the uninitiated, let me beguile you with a brief explanation for for what SCP Seeker Laboratory is. Nice try, Diddy. Yo, Set in the clandestine and labyrinthine Site 02 facility, a containment breach, no, not that game, oh, God, no! has occurred, and all of the monstrous SCPs have been let loose. No, 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 I don't wanna die! You could play as either a Class D test subject, the proverbial rebel fighter trying to escape to the surface with their life intact and make it to freedom. Hello, what? Melon. Melon, Hello, I need... Mug. Drop five K I or need die. a Mug. facility. Oh, where, where did you come from? What? Yeah, you're in a facility? <laughs> what? A site scientist who's also trying to do the same thing, but is instead on the SCP Foundation team, using the Class D for what they're meant to be used for. Fodder for the scientist's survival. Oh, shit. Oh, now we get... Now we good, bro. A facility guard whose sole and sworn obligation is to escort scientists to the surface for safety and who can either detain Class D before escorting them out as well, or promoting them to spectator chat with the frigid cruelty of cold steel. Or the sinister SCPs themselves who want nothing more than to exact their revenge on the captors whom have contained them for so long. Boys, I'm going down! Holy shit! There's no way, boys! Oh my god! To get through the four main parts of the facility, human players require higher and higher level key cards, which are very easy to obtain. Additionally, they can scab the remains of fallen players or peruse unopened desks and lockers for any other items that could aid them in their survival. This is where the heavy duty update comes into play. Those of us fortunate enough to survive the hellish gauntlet that is light containment. Whoa, that's peanut! Oh, oh shit! Are rewarded with a short elevator ride into the deeper part of the facility, Heavy Containment. The new Heavy Containment surrounds us with its comforting concrete embrace the first time we enter it, sirens wailing in the distance, almost as if to say to us, don't be scared, everything is new, but it's okay, I've got you. As Class D or scientists luckier than our fallen comrades to survive like containment, we arrive upon this exciting new labyrinthine rat nest to call our home as we scavenge for resources to help us escape this secret lab. The old heavy containment was, how should I put this, a necessary disaster. Compared to the new heavy containment zone, it was outdated, it was ugly, and it was stinky. Ew. Gross. Yuck. But look at our new favorite child now. Little cubbies to hide in promise a brief yet welcoming respite to the constant running and gunning of the previous heavy containment hallways. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! What the fuck? Throws gun? Too down. <laughs> oh, I'll get this boy up. Cute capybaras inside secret locations act as the beating heart and soul for this beautiful new beast. And the dynamic decor system ensures that, like the mighty snowflake, no two hallways are the same. Sometimes the random junk generator can do things like this. Uh, this wet floor this. sign? Yeah, it's to hold the door open. 
No. Yeah, this, hey, I'm you guys think we could parkour over this fence? We're actually like a bunch of apes Do discovering fire. Fence! 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 Metal! Metal barrier! But this isn't a bug. According to the lore, this makes sense and I'm just an idiot. I particularly appreciate this hydroponics room that everyone calls the acroomatic abatement room. Whatever the hell that means, I don't care about the lore. If you're an avowed hydro homie like me though, this new room is a sight that's sure to get your pants wet, along with the rest of you. Just don't recognize the bodies in the water, you will not survive the fall. Wait, Void, hey Void. Hey Void, get back to the water room. Okay, water room. Void. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Void. Void, do you see them? The, the bodies. Are they, are they still alive? The bodies no, in the crazy. water. Yeah, I'll, 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 Cockroach, we are trying to I'll RP, please, 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 out of character, I'll out of character. Admin's banned him right now, he's speaking out of character. I'm telling myself. Guys. As we progress deeper into heavy containment, we meet up with other wandering souls looking for themselves. One of which is Geobats, who helped me in rummaging my way through the secret lab like two little rats looking for any trash we could call a meal when we came upon a hallway that spooked us speechless. We were beset on both sides by a door that towered over us, reserved for big shitters only, no doubt. That- oh my god. This door is way too big. Have we- have we shrunken? Oh shit. And a handprint on the opposite wall that all but confirmed these fears. Geobat's precious little skull was able to fit comfortably inside the gargantuan handprint. See how yeah. big this handprint oh. is? Put your hand up to this handprint. Put your head up to that handprint. That is a big hand. I'm pleased to announce that I told Northwood studio head Hubert Motzka about these abnormally large features and he said, quote, Shut the fuck up and enjoy the game. You always do this. We spent months on this update and you always complain about stupid shit. You know what? I'm not going to change that now because I want you to think about how much I hate your annoying chirping every time you play this game, you freak. Ah, it feels so good to be so loved. Hey you, want to see the most illegal thing I own? Just follow me inside this dank bathroom. Ignore the bodies and look inside my crack. Oh my god. I know. The crack is amazing. That's right, a hidden little creature. Veteran stands of Secret Lab are familiar with the Hubert Ball, an easter egg hidden in various parts of the map with Northwood studio head Hubert Motzka's face plastered on them. While Hubert's balls are being removed from heavy containment, they're being replaced with the all new hidden capybaras, and this includes the ultra hidden capybara room, a prison cell for admins to send unappreciative players who must act up too much during a game. Fellow gamer Starstalker28 had already found all of the locations half a second after the servers first went live, and his footage is what you're seeing right now. But what's better than a capybara? How about two capybaras? Well, I don't have that for you, but there's also some smiley faces hidden throughout the map. Nobody cares about them though, so we're just gonna stop talking about them now. Look away, children. That man is whipping out his big blast doors. The deeper bowels of heavy containment welcome us with agents at the ready. Like knights of old posted valiantly throughout a keep some mighty hallways, we'll find these absolutely caked up, double stacked, triple thick blast doors. Whoa, mama. And the best part, they won't hurt you at all when you stand betwixt them and close them upon yourself. Yeah, that would have been nice uh, to have one. <laughs> All right, betrayal aside, who doesn't like closing big honker doors on people's faces? For us, though, it's a necessity we use to stay alive in these dangerous streets. What if our divorced parents got married? Dude, that would make us you have truth siblings. One of us tells a lie, one of us tells the, the truth. Oh my god, we could stand at a door? Wait, hold on, I have an idea. Void, stand right here, I'll stand oh, right here. yeah. If you would oh, like no. to pass me, you must answer me these questions three. I'm the one yeah. that lies. <laughs> God damn it, this <laughs> <is the worst. laughs> Like the majestic caterpillar's cocoon after it's finished its months long transformation into its beautiful new butterfly form, some things must be left behind. 
Vestiges of what once was that only anchor down what can be. The old server rooms that everybody loved has been completely removed from heavy containment. Its odd and slightly satisfying jumping portions only exist now in our burning memories and dreams. Northwood said they'll add it back at a later date, but who's to say for sure, really? For now, I'll mourn the dead. And I won't cry because they're gone, but I'll smile because they were with us. Shy Guy, Bottomless Pit, Computer, and Radical Larry's room have all had some facelifts as well, with the Radical Ares room being pimped out the most. Do with that information what you will, but we're still far from reprieve in this evil facility, as there's still so much more to see and survive. Just about every room is dripping with personality and signs of a once bustling subterranean society of scholars, suits, and workmen. Danger. PS3. PS3! PS3! What? No PS3. way. PS3. Oh my god! Hold on, let me slide my copy of The Last of Us. I wish to play Last of Us. Oh no. You see what his, his fucking knees got bented. Oh my I'm god. You, there's no games on the PS3. You could say that was quite the shocking revelation. All right, I think it's your turn to go. You right could now. say You could say that joke really fell flat. You could say You could say <laughs> <laughs> I killed my friends! Ah! Dude, that's me in Vietnam when all my friends commit suicide. <laughs> One of my favorite details is this little board here telling the story of this one elevator technician fed up with the people around him. <laughs> Looks like he could have used the help of today's sponsor, Plush Foundry Plushies. Are you in need of a comfy night's rest? Are you the type of person that needs hired muscle to protect you at all times of the day? Use my link below to buy your very own SCP-999 plushie or the brand new SCP-173 peanut statuette bodyguard. Now with Kung Fu Power Grip. Warning, do not in the statue in any way you will break it it is a statue plush foundry plushies consume now but heavy containment wasn't the only part of the game to get a facelift and bbl as we progress into the deepest parts of heavy containment we see scampering throughout the facility like precious little rats in a barn our fellow humans that have all had their time in the oven and by golly miss molly someone cooked here the all new class d looked like jesse pinkman from breaking bad if he had relapsed and started selling barbiturates with his girlfriend crystal methany. I'm pretty sure a wizard cast a spell on all Class D players, which forced them to all share the same sun-dried brain cell and run like they've never operated a human body before. Listen, listen. listen. Yeah, 106, what? I just juked him. <laughs> oh, okay. Check this out, check this out. Check this out. I ah. uh, wait a minute. You can only do it. You can only do it if you're the juke master. Listen, I like you, juke master. If we see some facility guards, I'll tell them not to kill you guys. I, I, it doesn't matter. I'll juke them. <laughs> no, you can't juke the bullets, juke master. Yes, I can. You're not that yes, good. The new scientist looks like if Gordon Freeman retired from Black Mesa to pursue a happy career in experimenting on D-Boys. He is the epitome of the Poindexter aesthetic. However, the truth of the matter is that the scientists are weak-minded in nature, easily susceptible to the most basic of Jedi mind tricks. Do you think this is Uses like the force to convince you to drop your gun, sensual. Jedi mind trick. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uses uh -oh. the force to, uses the force to detain you. Uses the force to detain oh! you. Takes your what gun. The fuck? Execute what the fuck? Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> well, calm down, brother. Uses the force to mow you do down it. like a yes, dirty dog. Oh <laughs> my god. Dude, I sure hope SCPY doesn't like give me the force mind trick to kill this guy. Because Uses totally the force mind trick to kill that guy. Oh my Did god. Finish your sentence. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, my sins! No! My oh, sins. The door's locked! No! Wait! Force my No! Force! No! Use no. 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 Uses Uses Force my Control Trick to kill myself! <laughs> the new facility guard looks like his name should be Frank, and he's just got the kindest eyes you ever did meet. Perfect for the empty and cancelled expression required for euthanizing scores of guilty Class D personnel. Did you eat another D-boy? Burps. <coughs> Excuse me. Arm comes out of mouth, slurps it back up. Hey, wait. <laughs> wait, he's right over there. No, oh he's not. <laughs> 
As we make it further through the secret lab and eventually onto the surface, two new factions will raid the facility in waves. You have the mobile task force team Epsilon 11, designated Nine-Tailed Fox, enter the facility. Squid Game Challenge number six. If I can't land this up here, I will commit suicide. Do it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Wait! Looks like I get to tell my family I love them another day. <laughs> well, how? You don't have your radio anymore. Which are basically facility guards, but more Chad. It takes you down like Harambe. And you'll have the Chaos Insurgency, who are basically the NTF, but evil, and help the Class D and shoot everyone else. It's not over yet. It's juke not over Master, yet. holy shit! It's not over Come here, baby! Wait, wait, Juke, 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 take it, take it! It's some black tar heroin! It'll help you, Juke! Oh, yes. Alright, this way. Or, I guess this way works too. No, I. Uh, this way, it's this way, it's this way. Juke Master, where are you going? I... All right, well. The Jukes. I can sense it. I can sense the Jukes. <laughs> I don't think that's how the Juke Juice works. But beyond that, there's something visceral about the new MTF and Chaos models that inspires something deep down inside of you as a player. Guys, watch out, it's sedimentary. <laughs> <laughs> can you shoot your fucking gun, please? Fucking wise jokes, McGee. I'm reloading my Take gun. this! Take this radio, bitch! Uh. <laughs> god damn it. Oh my, oh my god, you god. killed him! I don't wanna die! Jesus! No longer do you run around and feel like a helpless lemming that flees from the very thought of danger. No. Instead, you feel like a, a powerful lemming, willing to throw your collective self at anything in your way for the greater good. Oh, stop Ooh, this must be what communism would feel like if it worked. Either that, or I just suck at playing SCP. Okay, that was a lot. The federal government says we're all made of stardust. I don't know if that's true, but this man just got turned back into stardust. The fan favorite Micro HID has a brand new test chamber. As we continue our survival inside the halls of heavy containment, we find it hidden away behind the secret Project Segmentum security door. Go inside, go up the stairs, and go through the door for a chance of getting the Micro HID or the 3X particle disruptor. The 3X is fun because it looks cool, feels cool, and is a whole hell of a lot of cool fun when you blow people's backs out with it. Oh, oh, oh. So long as you know how to aim the thing. How much have you ever lost in a coin toss? How about in a gunfight? Northwood thought it would be fun to add a new Russian roulette mechanic to everyone's favorite big iron. If you hold the middle mouse button when the chamber isn't full, you'll give said chamber a mighty spin and randomize the order of the bullets. Pro gamblers stay winning. And I'll admit it, it leads to some cheek puckeringly tense moments when you pull it off well. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're at 10 health. We're doing Russian roulette. Hell yes, we are. Oh, hell okay. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Melon, you pick it up and spin it. Sure thing. You're going down. Oh! I feel so alive right now. Just, you know, just like. Oh! Ooh. Give it to me. Give it to me. All right, I'm not gonna spin it. Oh! There, there we go. Remember, you can't reload. Oh! Oh! <gasps> he's going. Oh my God! He's dead. Oh he's God, fucking he's dead. dead. You killed him. He sh he tried to shoot you, Melon. I mean, Lars. Who's he Lars? He tried to shoot really? you. He tries to. He oh. said Melon. He said Melon. That's why I said Melon. I didn't mean to say Melon. <gasps> you tried to shoot me, Man, you shoot. son of a bitch. Uh, wait. Well, how I many? Have no choice. How many shots wait. was that? Okay, my turn. All right. Oh, we're speed running this shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Lars. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh my God! Okay, just the two of us, okay? It's just the gonna, two of I'm us. I'm gonna make Uber. it crazy, and I'm actually gonna make it so I'm gonna load three. What? No, we could just do one. Eber, we could do I'm, one. I'm spinning it. No, that's not fair because I'm gonna. No, okay, that's not fair. <laughs> Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Northwood partnered with Tesla to bring us the latest and greatest new SCP item, SCP-1344. Also known as the Neuralink goggles, they run off of pure brain fluid. Simply inject the harmless electrodes into your eyeballs and enter the cyberpunk future. The only downside? Since they count as an equipped item in game, disarming somebody who's wearing them forces the poor soul to remove the goggles, gouging out their own eyes against their will. Wait, wait, okay. 
Ah, uh, I'm blind. I'm blind. I just got detained. I'm blind. Wait, but he still has the goggles on him. Oh, his eyeballs are on the floor. <laughs> First, they took our weapons. Then they took our eyes. And then they took our dignity. When playing Secret Lab, you'll eventually find yourself dead. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh my god, that boy's back is bent. Holy in here, moly. In here, in here, in here. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. You're shooting me. Such is life, after all. As we all know, SCP stands for spectating current players anyway. When you're waiting between respawns, you really have nothing to do. My editor suggested making everyone rats to run around when waiting to respawn, and when I told him I'd let Northwood know, he kept on suggesting rats gameplay mechanics. Either way, Northwood added a new SCP a while back that I haven't talked about, and I thought I should let you know about it, even though it's not particularly from the Heavy Duty update. If a living player finds SCP-1576, they can crank they hog, put their ear up to the chocolate starfish, and listen to the whispers of the damned from spectator chat. I'm doing it right now, I'm cranking! Talk to me, spirits. They're just screaming. They're not really helping. Okay, one at a time. God, this must be what a median has to deal with. Oh my god! Holy moly! And I'm not gonna lie, it leads to some pretty good results about 100% of the time. But that's not all, folks. Are you ready to get mad? Grr. Before this next part, I need you to put your game faces on. Grr. With the all-new emotion system, human players can mock up the competition, throw on a great goofy grin, express your discontent with the given situation, or do whatever the hell this is. Gross. Northwood is still bang, bump, and bashing away at their developer workshop and has a big nuke room rework they're planning on dropping in the next few weeks. But for now, not much has changed in the old nuke room. However, Entrance Zone got a couple new things like vents and telephones. Hello, I gotta call somebody real quick. Give me one second. Me, uh, okay, shut the fuck up. Dude, he doesn't pick up, I'm gonna kill myself. Order Chinese. Hello? Hey, man, what you need? Hey, what you need? Hey, so we got a containment breach going on and... Hey, stop shooting! Shut right, the fuck up, guys. We got a containment breach going on and people are, like, freaking out. What do we do? The lights just went off. What do we do? No, the lights are still on. Shut up, computer! <laughs> tell tell him computer's here. Fuck, dude. He's on the phone. Jesus Christ. Jesus, dude. You You're such a dick. But everything else will have to wait for a later video. Another huge shout out to Void Voyager, Star Soccer 28, and Skills to Play, as well as everyone else in these lobbies. If you don't go and watch all of their videos and subscribe to them right now, I will literally never make a video ever again. Anyway, a big thanks and I love you to all of you, my loyal subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, I hate you. New video coming out in a week or two. And with that, I'll see you later, my beautiful little caterpillars.